Throughout the history of spacecraft, there has been many attempts at creating the most ideal rocket engine. First was condensed black powder, which could not be regulated mid-flight. Then chemical rockets, which are incredibly inefficient. The nuclear Orion project was tested, but determined to be far too dangerous. Ion engines have been used for a while now, but are very expensive and have a limited fuel source. Solar sails only use reflected photons from the sun for propulsion, which makes them pretty unusable further away from the sun. Everything seems to have serious issues. So what could be the future of space travel? One option may be a recent proposition of the electromagnetic driven space engine. According to a recent theory, the EM drive could get us to Mars in a mere 70 days and uses nothing but electricity to power it, but the engine theoretically breaks the laws of physics. Much like solar sails, EM drives make use of Maxwell's principles, as when photons and electromagnetic waves are reflected, although they may have no mass, they have momentum. This specific momentum of electromagnetic waves is then capable of being converted to a force through the equation force in newtons is equal to 2 times the power source in watts divided by the speed of light in meters per second. From this, according to a theory produced by a small company in the United Kingdom and further research by Chinese professor Dr. Huan Yang, if electromagnetic waves are reflected in a semi-conical enclosed container the wavelength will lessen as the larger end is approached. It is known that momentum is equal to Planck's constant over the wavelength, so therefore wavelength is inversely proportional to the momentum, and hence more force should be exerted on the larger end than the smaller, as there is more momentum, thus causing thrust. According to the generally accepted third law of physics, which was conceived by Sir Isaac Newton in 1686, for an action to occur, an equal and opposite reaction must occur. This is the case for ion engines, as the ionized xenon gas is shot out. The force of doing so gradually accelerates the spacecraft, but the EM drive is self-contained, therefore it theoretically should not produce any thrust. However, a very recent discovery has been made for the space engine. It does produce exhaust. The exhaust is photons bound together, which were not detected in past experiments. This suggests that the engine may in fact be possible. A prototype was built by Professor Yang's team and was proven successful. However, NASA discredited this as the test was not performed in a vacuum. So, NASA built themselves a prototype and successfully tested it in a vacuum. A test model is soon to be launched to the International Space Station for further testing. If the results come back fully successful, this will be a huge feat in science and engineering and will certainly be a highly viable source of propulsion for the future of space travel.